Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day, and this comes to you on March the 29th, Wednesday, the eighth day of Navratri for those who are following. And this is a day really that heaven is opening its heart to you bigger and better and clearer than ever before. Heaven's heart is always open, always available, but sometimes there's a door of opening that just allows you to perceive something in an easier way, you can say an effortless way. You don't have to try too hard. So this is one of those times. Again, the heart energy continues to be very, very strong. So trust your heart. And when you feel happy for no reason or excited about something or something that you have no logical reason to be happy or surprised that, you know, why should I feel happy about this? I have no money in my bank. My my motorcycle is not running. My cat is not listening to me and whatever, right? Find the reasons to complain and then say that, no, it's not related to that. No, it's not related to that but it's related to to something that I desire that is coming my way that I'm yet not aware of. So you don't even know that you might have an unexpected payment coming your way. Your cat might come and nuzzle you just a moment after reading this. You might just look up at the sky and see the clouds parting. Again, the angelic force is saying, we are here. You're not alone. Heaven has not forgotten you. Your motorcycle starts running all of a sudden. These are heavenly divine surprises that dear one is going to continue pouring through this day. So just open yourself up to receiving magical surprises. I'm open to receiving magical surprises. My heart believes. Just say that. Just those simple words. Because you're not doing this alone. Heaven will never allow you to do this alone. You always have symbols, signs, rays of light, fragrances, all forms of feeling. Just closing your eyes, using your third eye, the power of sound. I mean, it just goes on and on. You could write the list of that. How, I per- how can I perceive heaven this day? Just 10 ways to perceive heaven. Those are not per se angelic signs, but just to perceive heaven, just allowing yourself the chance to enhance yourself. Again, you're not receiving maybe a specific answer or receiving specific guidance. You're just opening yourself up and saying, I just choose to be a divine being. The power of choice, yes, dear one, is very, very strong right now. Choosing, whether you choose to go on complaining and con- continuing to receive a negativity, continuing to live in pain or anger or resentment or perceiving what is wrong, that's not really working for you, right? So throw that aside. I throw aside what no longer serves me. I choose to bring in how I can enhance my everyday and my whole life and this earth. Because when you're happy, it's like a bulb goes off in heaven. Yes, another one has arrived. The Akashic angels start dancing on your behalf. Another being on earth has opened to his, to her possibility that I can be so much more than I am. Trust that. And you're not thinking foolishly. You're not thinking like just out of fantasy that there's no logic to that. There's no money in my bank. How am I going to get money? It's not that the heavenly ones will just give you a signature or reason to believe or to have faith about something that is illogical, that is not meant for you ultimately. You'll be also given the steps to reach that space. If you have no money in the bank and you want money, you'll be given ways to earn money. And immediately, in the immediate, in the now, you'll be given payment that will help you reach that spot or to take that action. Same way with your cat or the motorcycle. You'll be given 
maybe a good mechanic, maybe you yourself find the tools within your toolbox to be able to take care of it. For your cat, you find the perfect sweater for her when she's cold. Or you give her milk or something that as she needs it, or cookies. Right? So trust that. Just keep taking these little, little steps this day, and you'll reach that big, big, huge dream that you have of opening your own business related to that money example. Or relationships get enhanced because ultimately this card is showing the power of your heart's signature to really affect your relationships. The sphere of your relationship, not just for romantic relationships, yes, twin flame awakening is definitely there this day. So trust everything that comes through your heart related to your twin flame, the ability to feel them, to understand them, to connect with them using meditation, asking Lady Nada's help, asking Archangel Shamuel, C-H-A-M-U-E-L, Shamuel, to open your heart's carnation there and rose merged pink, white and golden light and use that merged orb for whatever purpose you want in whatever way you want to enhance your relationship to your loved one to your spouse if you're searching for a spouse If you're asking about a certain person that are they meant to be, that twin flame connection, because sometimes it might be that heaven has a plan that the twin flame of your soul is really not your romantic partner on earth. But it very rarely occurs that way because you do have a life purpose together. Again, Ask your heart this question so you can just be at peace about this really important question of our lives for those who sit at this time without a romantic partner and don't have a spouse. And then if you do have a spouse and you're having a lot of concerns with them and arguments, what is it that's going wrong with my marriage or why is it not working or what is it that I need to do to enhance my marriage? It's very easy these days to just say that it's not working and just walk out the door. That's only if you tried everything and heaven is telling you that the door is the path for you. But don't be the one that is ready to just cut off relationships, especially with family. Family is your DNA. You enhance each other. When you're happy, your family is happy. So see how you can be a source of joy for someone today family, friend, as a light worker, through your words, through your actions, through just your feeling. Because all of earth gets the sparkle of joy, the sprinkle of joy that you send out. Because see see the words on the card. It'll make more sense then. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. That's you, again, pushing aside past why you think you're not worthy of blessings, why you push aside your blessings, why you don't claim your miracle, why you think asking for your miracle is just inappropriate on your part, that you're not just, you're not just special enough or something, that you need some qualification, or that you've done too much, or you have too much karmic baggage, all of that, put that into one of those carnations around you and literally ask your thoughts to be changed. Every time that thought comes that, I cannot have this or this problem is there and what do I do about it? You know, do you just go into worry, anger or resentment or reaction to something? Again, ask your thought form to reflect the power of Lady Nada and your heart's awakening signature within your thoughts, within your being and change that there and then. You might have to keep on doing this million times a day (laughs) today, but Look at what's behind her. There's a huge orb of light. The more you do that, that orb of light changes who you are. And she's just doing it in a very relaxed manner. You don't see her rushing about because her 
hair is not just because she's European or, <laughs> you know, from the Western culture and is blonde haired anyways. No, this is the golden light literally changing the way you approach life. You're not rushing about. You're not questioning. You're not holding back. You're like, should I do this step or not? You're just spontaneous. You just flow. Yes, I just know it. You trust your intuition. Yes, it's coming through my thoughts. Yes, it's coming through my feelings. Maybe it's coming through both. I enjoy this process. And these are really your power colors. We can adopt that also as a new um, power habit, you can say. So approach life with a power color every day just one color you don't have to take a whole bunch of colors and see which color works for you and why today of course through the card it seems to be pale pink right pastel pink is not just girly it's not just for girls for the men pastel color helps you actually connect with your divine feminine being you might say i don't want to be feminine isn't that supposed to be a gay thing or something no it's about being sensitive and soft and still being able to connect with your heart. After all, if you want to have a romantic partner, you have to be soft enough to gather the energy of romance and be able to attract romantic energy just as it is. Not just for a specific personal reason, just for the virtue of the romantic energy. Just to enjoy the feeling. Maybe that's something you do with this open heart carnation that you have right now. Just the feeling. How does it feel to be successful? How does it feel to be abundant? How does it feel to be supported? How does it feel whatever? How does it feel to be? That is something you invite to yourself. Why? Because when you do that, you're also activating the law of attraction on your behalf. That is where you can then use this robe that she's wearing that seems to be like a nighty or a coat or something again to merge into that energy to merge into that virtue to merge into that movement the law of attraction is working now it's moving and where you need balance where you're doing too much maybe you're working too long that's why you have money in the bank but you're extremely tired so to do that in a balanced manner so that you're using Creativity, which is the pink part of her coat with the white, and then they're merged together with the balance and wisdom of your angelic forces, the angels around you. And today, the goddess energy, Divine Feminine is holding you. Divine Mother is whispering literally into your ears because, see, that's why she has her hair covering her ears. She's listening. She's cutting herself off to unnecessary chatter or sound. She's just listening to the light. The light is pouring through these carnations, going into her hair and then going straight into her ears. Beautiful process. It's open. It's in movement. And nothing is stopping it. She's just relaxed. She's just looking. Where is she looking? You might ask, where do I need to look? Because see, her eyes are focused on something that may be focused on you. You feel they're focused on you. Why are your eyes feeling focused on me, mother? What is it that I need to see? What is it that you want to help me see? Maybe she wants to enhance your ability to see into a situation, literally physically into a room, to do physical modification, writing, visualization, meditation, to enhance your third eye, your ability to see symbols, to look into the details of symbols, colors that we went into earlier, that we spoke about. What is it that colors can give to me? Flowers. I mean, it's endless, right? You choose what you want to see and where you want to focus. That's fine. Throughout this day, it might keep on changing. That's why those lovely thought forms are there. See how beautifully they're all working together. Not one of them is disconnected from the other. And then there's rays of light going on behind her. That means while you do this, all the unnecessary is very gracefully going off into the golden and white light that has a pinkish hue to it. You're being just replaced, you can say, with love. 
the universal forces are saying, while you do all this heavy work, or it seems like you're doing so much work, the rest is going on behind you, absolute and clear. Because see the beautiful headdress that she's wearing, pearls, pearls of wisdom. This is the Akashic spaces. So all forms of Akashic clearing, creativity, asking, healing, all of that is enhanced. And you don't, again, have to be some tremendous psychic for this. Just call upon Lady Nada and the Akashic Angels to enhance this process so that you can perceive it in your own way. That's it. I look forward to actually receiving lovely answers from you. What was your experience? We all learn together, right? So awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. And this comes to you as a beautiful gift from the light, from the keepers of the light, given to us by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegrayco.uk. And the holy art that just makes this come so alive, become real for us, comes to us from Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. So this is Tina signing off for now. Have a superb day and awaken to love in a beautiful and different way. Bye for now, and enjoy your heart awakening.